Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we will see how to use a web client to make a HTTP call from employee service to department service. Well, in previous lecture, we have seen how to use REST template class to make a HTTP call from employee service to department service. And we have also seen that REST template class is in a maintenance mode and soon will be deprecated. So Spring team recommended using web client that has a modern API and support synchronous or synchronous and streaming scenarios. Well, in this lecture, we will see how to use a web client to make a HTTP call from employee service to department service. Well, web client is basically a HTTP reactive client and web client supports like synchronous communication or synchronous communication as well as streaming scenarios. Okay. And web client is a part of Spring Web Plus dependency. Well, a web client is a reactive HTTP client. Hence, it is a part of Spring Web Plus dependency. All right. Now let's take a look into the development steps. First, we'll add Spring Web Plug dependency because Web Client is present in a Spring Web Plug dependency. Next, we'll configure Web Client as a Spring Bin. Next, we'll inject and use Web Client to make a HTTP call. And next, we'll test using Postman Client. Okay, very simple. Let's go ahead and let's add Spring Web Plug dependency in a employee service project. So let's go to IntelliJ IDEA and let's go to employee service project and go to pom.xml file and here we have spring boot starter web dependency so let me copy this dependency and let me paste it over here and here let me change from web to web plugs that's it next go ahead and click on this load maven changes to load this dependency so just click on this icon now we have added Spring Boot Starter Web Plugs dependency. Next step is we need to configure Web Client as a Spring Bean. Well, let's go to Employee Service Project. Within that, go to Employee Service Application Main Entity Point class. And within this configuration class, we need to configure Web Client as a Spring Bean. Well, we have already configured REST template as a Spring Bean. So let me comment out this code. And here, let me configure web client as a Spring Bean. So let's type public and let's give web client as a return type of the method and make sure that you choose web client from a reactive package. Okay. org.springframework.web.reactive.function.client package. And let's give method name as web client. And then let's return the instance of web client interface implementation. So return and then web client it has builder method and then let's call build method to build the instance now we have created a method next let's make this method as a spring bin by using add bin annotation now we have configured web client as a spring bin next step is we need to inject and use web client to make a HTTP call we'll go to employee service project and go to employee service IMPL class and let's first inject web client in this employee service IMPL class so we have already injected a REST template class. So let me comment out this. And here let's have private and then web client, web client. Now we have injected a web client. Next, let's use its methods. So let's scroll down and let's go to get employee by ID method. So within this method, we need to make a REST API call, right? And if you can notice here, we have already used REST template class to make a REST API call. So let me comment out this piece of code. We are not going to use REST template. Okay, now we are going to use web client, isn't it? So here, let's call web client object. It has different methods like get, delete, I know patch, post, put. So we are going to make a get department REST API call. For that, let's go and let's use get method over here, and then let's call URI method to pass the URI. So let's call URI method and here we need to pass the URL so for example you can get the URL from here so let me copy this URL and let me pass here okay now we have passed the URL for the REST API next let's go and let's call a retrieve method over here well we are going to make a REST API call to retrieve a department hence we are going to use a retrieve method and then we are going to call body to mono method to pass a response type so don't bother about mono and plux because these are the reactive terms okay just call body to mono here 
and then pass response type that is department dto dot class okay next we need to make a synchronous call for that let's call a block method perfect now we have used we have trying to make a rest api call from employee service to department service and here what we'll do we'll have a department dto equal to department dto because we have passed department as a response type to body to mono method right hence we are storing the result of this you know method call in a department dto okay so this is the change we have to do okay that's it we have used we are trying to make a rest api call from employee service to department service okay great next step is we need to test using postman client well before running employee service let's first run the department service because we are making a rest api call from employee service to department service right so here let's select department service application and just start this application well department service application is running in a embedded tomcat server on port 8080 next let's go to employee service application and click on run button to run this application now employee service application is also running in a embedded tomcat server on port 8081 next let's go to postman rest client and let's call get employee rest api so let me go to postman rest client over here and here let me call this you know get employee rest api and there we go you can able to see the postman client got employee as well as its department in a response it's very simple right so let me recap the steps that we have performed in this lecture we have added spring boot starter we have plugs dependency in a pomlet xml next we have configured web client as a spring bean next we have injected web client and we have used its method to make a rest api call okay and then we have tested using postman rest client in next lecture we will see how to use spring cloud open pin library to make a rest api call from employee service to department service all right great i will see you in the next lecture